Hey guys, for this video what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the TI Inspire to um, find probabilities involving combinations. So with this one what we have is a bag contains seven black buttons and five red buttons. If five buttons are selected at random without replacement, find the following probabilities. Um, so what we have is we have a total of 12 buttons and we are selecting five. So for every situation I have below, um, we are going to use the same scenario. We have a total of 12, we're selecting five. Um, we are gonna use our calculator to calculate this but this um, formula right here for combinations. Just a reminder in factorial or anything factorial, um, the four with the exclamation point behind it is really four factorial, and it means four times three times two times one. So when we're plugging these into our calculator, this is what it is doing. So the first one that we wanna look at is, again, we are, have a total of 12, we're selecting five. Okay, in the bag, we have a total of seven black buttons and five red buttons. So that's useful information to help us find our combinations. Um, we are not replacing them, so the probability of selecting a black one changes every single time, and it depends on the previous one. Um, so that's why we use this formula. So the probability of finding exactly three. Okay, with this one, that means that since we are selecting a total of five buttons, um, three of them were, are black, that means the other two must be red. Okay, um, so with this, what we're going to do is probability, remember, is our to um, the what we want to happen divided by our total, um, the total things that could possibly happen. So we're going to use combinations to find those. So with the first one, since we're talking about the number of black ones that we have, um, Remember that we have a total of seven black ones in the bag. So we have seven things that we are taking three at a time times we have five red buttons in the bag that we are taking two at a time. And then we are going to divide this by our total where we have 12 total buttons um, divided or taken five at a time because that's how many we are selecting. So this represents seven black buttons taken three at a time, five red buttons taken two at a time, over 12 total buttons taken five at a time. So to get to this in your graphing calculator, it is kind of um, difficult. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a calculator screen. Um, I'm gonna select no on this, and I could have just gone back to this one, but I'm gonna add a calculator screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit menu and go to probability. Under probability, option three is combinations. So it would plug in NCR. It does do it in a different format. Um, our first one was that we wanted seven things taken three at a time. So that represents our seven black buttons taken three at a time times, and we're gonna do the same thing again. Menu, option five, probability, option three, combinations. And so then we have five red buttons that we are going to take two at a time. And then we are going to divide this by um, 12 things taken five at a time. So I'm gonna go back to menu, probability, combinations, 12 things taken five at a time. And then I hit enter. Um, the calculator does always give you an exact answer. So if you want it as an approximate, you have to hit, you either have to set it up in the menu to be approximate, or you can do control answer and the control enter and it will put it as a decimal. So 0 0.4419 is our approximate probability. So that means that we have a 44.19% probability of selecting exactly three black buttons out of this particular bag. Okay, for the next one it says at least one is black. Whenever it says the probability of at least one, it is easier to do on these one minus the probability of zero black ones because at least one means out of the five, I could have one black one or two black ones or three black ones or four black ones or five black ones. And so if you do it um, not using the complement rule, then you actually have to add up one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus 
Um, and then I would stop at five. Um, or you can use the complement rule, which takes one minus the values that are not in there. So the only one that's not in there is the zero black. So to put this into our calculator, what we would do is one minus, and then again, we have seven things because we have seven black ones taken zero at a time because we're looking for the probability of zero black times five red ones taken five at a time divided by 12 total buttons taken five at a time. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to make it a little bit um, quicker because of the fact that what I can do is I can do one minus and I'm just going to come hit the arrow button and then grab this part and what I'm going to do is change the two values. I wanted five things taken five at a time and I wanted seven things taken zero at a time so I'm just deleting that. That way I don't have to go back to the menu and probability over and over again. So I get 791 over 792 and again I forgot to hit the control enter. 0.9987 would be our approximate probability. So there's a 99.87% probability of selecting at least one black one, which means that it's a very, very likely that you're going to select one. Okay, for the last one, we're looking for the probability of two buttons being red or three buttons being red. So with this, you're using the OR rule, which is the addition rule. So we would do the probability of two plus the probability of three. So when we set this up, um, remember that we have seven black ones taken. In this case, I would take three at a time because I would want three black and two red, or we would want three red and two black. Okay, so this would be represent the red. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a total of 12 C5. And then I would add to this the probability of three, which means that I would have two black ones and three red ones over 12 C5. And so I would plug this into my calculator. Again, what I would do, because the first one is the same, um, I would just come up here and grab this and hit enter. Okay. And I'm going to just do that again. So I'm going to do plus. This one is already set up the right way because remember this one was exactly two red and three black. So we already used this situation so there's no sense in retyping it. Four. So for this what we're going to do is we're going to change the second one to be the reverse. This time we want three red ones and two black ones. So this would be 70 out of 90. Um, and then if I just do control and enter, I get 0 0.70707, okay? Or approximately 0 0.7071, okay? Um, so there's a 70.7% probability of two or three of the five buttons that we selected being red. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's other topics you want me to do, please let me know that as well.